For this lesson, you need to open the sample file Annual Sales Summary from your Sample Files folder. Sometimes Excel gets a little confused when it attempts to automatically generate a chart. Problems usually occur when you need to plot numerical information along the horizontal axis. Excel sees the numerical labels and assumes that they are in fact a data series. In this lesson, you'll use such a worksheet to confuse Excel and then fix things up manually using the Select Data Source dialog. So let's begin by displaying the range shown on this worksheet as a clustered column chart. To do that, I'll click on any single cell inside the range. Now note that it's not necessary to select the entire range when you want to chart all of it. If you simply click any cell inside the range, Excel will automatically select the entire range for the chart's source data. In this case, A1 to C8. Now I'll insert a chart. So I click Insert on the ribbon. In the Charts group, I'll click the Insert Column Chart button. Then in the 2D column group, I'll choose the Clustered Column Chart. And you can see the problem. Excel has assumed that the numbers in the Year column are a data series. Note that the numbers for the Year data are so small in relation to the Sales and Cost data that you can hardly see their bars in the bar chart. The bars are there, but they're so short they're almost invisible. If you look carefully, you can just about see the short blue bars. In order to find out what's gone wrong, we'll need to display the Select Data Source dialog. And to do that, I right-click just inside the border of the chart and then choose Select Data from the shortcut menu. And the problem is now immediately apparent. Excel has wrongly identified the year as series data rather than as category labels. And the sequential numbers on the right-hand side tell me that Excel thinks that no categories have been defined for this data. So the first thing to do is to remove the incorrect year series. So I'll click on the year series and then click the remove button. I now need to tell Excel where the category labels are. Those are the labels that will show along the bottom of the x-axis, where I'm currently seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And of course, what I want to see there are the dates in cells A2 to A8. So I'll click the Edit button at the top of the category list, and then I'll select cells A2 to A8. I'll then click OK and OK again. And you can see that the chart now displays correctly, with the years interpreted as categories and the sales and cost data being interpreted as data series. All that remains for this lesson is to save your work and I'm going to save with the new name Annual Sales Summary 1 and as usual I'll save to the folder above my sample files folder. I click the Save button and you've now completed Lesson 516 Create a Chart with numerical axes.